everyone, Derek Giddings from the HK Shooting Team, and hopefully you've heard the big news by now that last week HK came out with the SP5K PDW. So just like its big brother, the HK SP5, the new PDW is going to have the half by 28 threaded three lug barrel. With this barrel, it's going to be easier than ever to attach muzzle devices and suppressors like we have here to your SP5K PDW. So what I'd like to do is take a second and give you some armor tips so you can keep your SP5K PDW running in tip-top shape on the range. All right, so just like the other roller lock platforms, uh, there are just some different locking pieces uh, for the SP5K, SP5K PDW to adjust for different ammo, barrel lengths, and overall weights. The three locking pieces, as you can see on the screen from left to right, are the 100 degree, locking piece, which is unmarked, the 28, number 28 locking piece, which is 80 degrees, the number 16 locking piece, which is 110 degrees. So with these different degrees that you hear me saying, in general, the greater the angle, 110 the greatest here, the greater the angle, the easier it is for the action to open. And in general, obviously, the greater the pressure in the system, the less angle that's needed for the overall system to work reliably. Of course, the lower angle one is the number 28, which is 80 degrees. So let me just give you some, some background on these locking pieces so you'll know how to tune your SP5K PDW platform. Here is the unmarked 100 degree locking piece, which is the HK standard now for the MP5, SP5, MP5K, SP5K, SP5K PDW. 100 degrees, standard, and if you're running 115 grain or 124 grain, just the common ammunition, whether you're shooting suppressed or unsuppressed, you're good to go and should have no problems and perfect function. Let's say you decide to add a suppressor to your SP5K PDW since you've got that threaded three lug barrel. And let's say you decide with that suppressor that you want to shoot some subsonic ammunition, 147 grain, 9 millimeter ammo, and heavier. Well, the standard locking piece that comes with it is um, going to give the system a little bit too much power in that scenario and cause overfunction, which can cause malfunctions, it can cause increased wear and tear. So again, if you're wanting to shoot subsonic ammunition, 147 grain ammo and heavier with a suppressor in your SP5K PDW, you're gonna to wanna to check out the number 28 locking piece, the 80 degree for absolute reliability. I also want you to be familiar with this guy right here, the number 16 locking piece, the 110 degree. This at one time was the standard on the MP5K uh, or the old SP89. The SP89s in the 80s shipped with the number 16 locking piece, 110 degrees. Now, this is still relevant today because let's say you're shooting some reloads or some very, very weak, weak nine millimeter ammunition in your, in your system. And like we'd said earlier, if you need to get some more power, you need some more angle. So that may be a cause if you're having some malfunctions, you're experiencing something weird, you know it's not the, the gun because it's an HK, you just need to tune it and you may need to invest in a 110 degree locking piece or the number 16. Okay, so in conclusion, your SP5K PDW is going to come out of the box, ready to rock out with that 100 degree locking piece. You're going to be good to go with 115 grain and 124 grain, 9 millimeter ammunition, which is the most popular and most common. But keep in mind, should you want to add a suppressor to your system and run subsonic loads, 147 grain and heavier 9 millimeter ammunition, looking to get in a number 28 locking piece to keep your gun in tip-top shape on the range. From all of us at HK, we'll see you on the range.